Happy New Year bye and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Dubio colony to maximize their production. So what we're gonna need is of course egg trays, we're gonna need an extra bin and our Dubio colony but in your case, if you are building a new Dubia Colony setup, you need to buy a tub. And for me, this is a 58 liter tub. And it just fits perfectly with the egg trays. See? We also need two, two dishes for the bug grabs and the water gel. So that's everything you need and we're going to start now. Get your egg trays first and then we're going to uh, cut this in half. But be careful, you need to cut these trays in the same manner. The reason for this is that we can have a uniform egg trays in the tub. As you can see, if you cut it in the same manner, it will perfectly fit to each other. After cutting the egg trays, you should start preheating the glue gun. While the glue gun is preheating, I'm going to explain to you what I did to my tub. I made a square hole in the center and put some plastic mesh all over it. In the back, you can see that I have secured the mesh with a glue gun. This will ensure that no dubia or house geckos will be able to go in or out of the tub. But before the glue, I have secured the mesh first with the cable ties, like this one. You could place any ventilation you like, even on the sides, but I prefer on the top because usually the moist will build up on the top. And it could be a problem in the future like molds or anything unwanted in the tub. We will now transfer the colony on the other tub and then we're going to clean this and place the egg trays. So we have separated the colony and then the garbage. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this and we're going to set this aside for later. Let's go. Yeet. So now that our tub is clean, yep, it is all clean. We're now going to put our egg trays, but first we're going to set up our egg trays. What I did right here is that I stick two egg trays facing each other using the glue gun. With this, we could make a pair of durable egg trays. So we already got the two pieces stick together and this is how it looks like. So we have stack up in here in our bin. So in 58 liters, we can stack up at least uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 egg trays. And this is our main breeder uh, area. We could also have another extra egg tray on top of this so that we could get any dubia if we want to feed our pets or anything you want to feed. So for the dishes, I used this clay pot right here to put my bug grabs and my bug gel. I recommend this clay pot as dishes because compared to the plastic dishes, the roaches will easily can get up and can get the food. It could also prevent them from drowning in the water or bug gel. So now it is time to put the colony back into their bin. last but not the least now we're going to put food in their dishes i am now making a bug gel and if you don't know how to make one there's a video in my channel check it out We have our bug gel and we have a bug grab and now the setup is done. Thank you for watching and please like the video and consider subscribing. Comment down below if you have questions and I'm going to answer them and I'm going to see you on the next video. ExoShack signing out.